Welcome to rural India, where 50% of agriculture happens on farms just like this, on three acres or less. The primary mode of irrigation is a method called flood irrigation, where farmers flood their entire field with irrigation and route it through a series of troughs. Flood irrigation is a very manual process. Drip irrigation or micro irrigation increases the efficiency of the water and increases the yields that you can receive. So uh, we, we see anywhere from 20 to 50 percent uh, increase in water efficiency and between 30 and 100 percent increase in yields. The challenge is that every single field is laid out differently and serves different purposes. And most times, almost always, you'll have to work within some infrastructure that the farmers already put in the field. Um, and that's before we even get into anything that we do, which is the, the drip irrigation part, the above, above ground system. This is essentially your system. You have, uh, this is a bore well and the pump will be at the bottom. Uh, so they, they just told us it's 620 feet down. So this system allows you to add liquid fertilizer to the drip irrigation system. By passing part of the water through a constricted area, you can create um, suction at this part. So you just put this tube into a um, bucket of liquid fertilizer and it sucks it up and adds, um, adds it to the drip irrigation. So not only can we provide water directly to the roots of the crops, we can provide fertilizer directly to the roots of the crops. So this is the filter, uh, screen filter. We pass the, the water because it comes up from the ground. Um, in order to reduce, significantly reduce clogging in the drip irrigation system, we pass it through this um, fine mesh filter. Drip irrigation today is inaccessible. It's inaccessible for a number of reasons, but the major reason is that it's too complex to be moved through traditional distribution channels. What MyRain has done with its Rainmaker mobile application has automated the customization of drip irrigation design. No longer do small plot farmers have to hire or work with irrigation engineers. They can instead work with our retailers who are enabled with our Rainmaker mobile application to get custom irrigation designs for their field at a fraction of the price. So a retailer can come out and perform a simple survey measuring parameters such as the distance of the trees, uh, the distance of the plants, and the uh, row spacing. Uh, they enter that system, that information, into the Rainmaker, and our application does the rest. With this information, we can produce a complete blueprint, which enables any local plumber to be able to install uh, this system exactly to our specifications. So it also produces a complete bill of materials. This is every single product that's required to make this custom design. The bill of material is then sent wirelessly to MyRain. Uh, we ship directly to the retailers, enabling them to carry little or no inventory. By 2050, we're projected to have a population, a global population of 9 billion people. 70% of the world's fresh water is used for agricultural purposes. To produce for 9 billion people, we have to become more efficient with both our water and our agriculture. Everything about our company, from the mobile application to the distribution and, and business model is built to scale to provide drip irrigation and other agricultural technologies to all of India. This episode brought to you by the U.S. Global Development Lab at USAID, applying science, technology, innovation, and partnership to ending extreme poverty. I'm rural India with my new homie. He lives here. Let's say hi. Let's say hi. Hi. <laughs>